In this example, we're going to add some air handling units, or AHUs. We're going to add these into the hallway with a specific height. We'll then place supply and return air, air terminals on the face of the ceiling. We'll then align the terminals to the ceiling grid and then copy the air terminals across the project. So the first thing I need to do is open up the mechanical plan. And you can see we've already got some of the uh, air terminals and air handling units already in the project. We're going to work in this top left hand of the north wing. So let's zoom in. And the first thing I'll need to do then is to go into the systems menu. And then I'm going to choose mechanical equipment. Once inside there I need to use the type selector to actually select the component I want to to use. So these are already loaded into the project and I'm going to use the size 24 AHU for this particular project. Before I actually put anything in, I'm going to need to position this height-wise. So we're going to change the offset to 2850. I'm going to pick apply and then I'll actually then select a location in the corridor. Now I want the, the connectors on the inside of the corridor, so in this one I'm just using the spacebar to flip this across. It just rotates it by 90 degree angles. Now I've just positioned these in the, in the corridor. Now we've already got some existing air handling units and I want to align these up so it makes it nice and neat. So I'm going to use the, um, and here's the modify command modify ribbon and select the align command. So select the first object and then the object I want to align and do exactly the same with the bottom one. And now we can see they're nicely aligned with the existing air handling units. So the next thing I need to do is actually add some of the air, um, air terminals. So if, to do this what I'm going to do is actually going to change the view to a ceiling plan. So open up the mechanical ceiling plan And again, I'm going to go to our systems menu, and in here we have air terminals. And again, I'm going to use the type selector, and in this case, I'm going to use a 600 by 600 uh, with a 150 neck. So if I zoom in now to this ceiling, uh, ceiling plan, you can see we've actually got the grid lines. Okay, so the first thing I need to do before I put any of these air terminals in, let's change the, the flow. So I'm going to change the um, the flow rate in this to 70 liters per second. So when we get and um, do any calculations for the sizing, will already be started. So, so the first thing I need to do before I select the uh, location is choose the place on face option. This will allow me to put it on the ceiling grid. Now all I need to do here is align. So I'm going to, rather than choosing the menu, I'm going to type AL for align, choose the grid and the air terminal, and the same again, and there we've got that nicely aligned. So the next thing I'm doing, I'm going to type CO for copy. I'm going to copy this one air terminal. Now I'm going to make sure that I've got multiple selected, so I don't actually just copy one at a time. I can actually um, copy these out multiple times for this location. So all I do is select a uh, like a pickup point and then I just select the location. I'm using the grid line here as a guide. Make sure that these are all lined up nicely. So there's our six air terminals and created into this project. So there you have it, there's the air terminals and the mechanical the air handling units all selected and put in here. Uh, the next video I'm going to do is how we're going to connect these up with ducts and pipes.